And I request our distinguished guests on the stage to launch the roadmap AI for Vikasit Bharat, unlocking accelerated economic growth. May I now request honorable ministers to digitally launch the Niti Frontier Tech Repository using the remote. This is a big moment indeed. सबसे पहले तो इम्पैक्ट समिट के रनअप में जो इतनी अच्छी टेक्नोलॉजीज़ यहाँ पे दिखाई और विशेषकर टोंक के डीएम का मैं स्पेशल मेंशन करना चाहूँगा जो एक्चुअल इम्पैक्ट आप लोगों ने किया है आप सबके लिए पहले जोरदार एक बार तालियां ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर श्रीमती निर्मला सीतारमन जी श्री सुमन बेरी वाइस चेयरपर्सन नीति आयोग श्री बी वी आर सुब्रमण्यम जी सी ओ नीति आयोग सेक्रेटरी कृष्णन मिस घोष मिस्टर पारेख मिस्टर काका ऑल दी फ्रेंड्स एंड यंग ऑफिसर्स कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री आई वेलकम यू ऑल एज अ रन अप टू दी फेब्रुवरी ए आई इम्पैक्ट समिट आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वेरी गुड मीटिंग इवेंट वेयर वी आर एबल टू शो केस सो मेनी थिंग्स टूगेदर फ्रेंड्स we are passing through very interesting times when the world is going through so much of turbulence india is a very stable growing at a consistent rate and today the generations we have in front of us are full of confidence if you ask me what is the biggest change that our prime minister shri narendra modi ji has done the biggest change is he has instilled so much confidence in our youngsters in our youth in our entire country that today we are able to dream of a vikasit bharat this is very different from the 40 50 years since independence in the beginning where the country was passing through very different times today the growth is inclusive the growth is robust and it's driven by technology technology is the fundamental base of this growth today and no country can think of being a vikasit or a developed country until and unless it has good mastery or good control or good confidence about a few technologies and these technologies are telecom technology semiconductors electric vehicles biotech some of the most complex engines quantum rare earth and a few more these are technologies which we will have to master we'll have to adopt we'll have to develop talent pipeline and we will have to make sure that we remain in the frontier and over a period of last few decades the biggest change which has happened and the biggest factor which has joined this constellation of technologies is ai because ai is now affecting practically everything that we do like internet which changed everything that we did ai is also going to fundamentally change the way we work the way we live the way we consume the way we teach our children the way we do healthcare practically everything is going to be impacted that's why it's very important to make sure that we are front runners in ai technology or in the use of ai development of ai the core of this path will be r&d on one hand and getting a very very strong and deep talent pipeline on the second hand and that's one of the major focus that we have taken in practically everything that we do in technology i'll give a couple of examples let's take the example of semiconductors when we started the mission in uh, 22 our prime minister gave us a very clear road map that semiconductor mission has to be for a minimum 20 years road map 
we have to develop the ecosystem and we have to make sure that the talent pipeline is primary focus for our work. And that's why today we have 278 institutions, universities and colleges where the students are today using the latest semiconductor design tools. They are designing chips and 20 of those chips got manufactured recently at SCL Mohali. Another batch of 15 is at this point of time undergoing manufacture taping out at SCL Mohali. Now where in the world will you find university students, college students designing complete chips which get manufactured also and tested and used in the systems that they want to use in. This is the level of talent development that we are taking up friends. And this is where our Prime Minister's clear guidance to us, clear focus on developing a very important, very deep, very wide, very diverse talent pool came into play. I'll give another example, AI. The AI mission, our Prime Minister is known for democratizing technology, right? Whether it is the UPI, whether it is the, the way the DPI, the digital public infrastructure is used everywhere in the country and now known across the world. In the AI mission also, the first task that we took was to make GPU compute facility, common compute facility available to a very large section. When the mission was approved, the target we took was of 10,000 GPUs. And today we have 38,000 GPUs available for everybody. And I'll request that part of the Niti Aayog uh, commitment to the aspirational districts and to all districts. Let this GPU common compute facility be also available to the districts which want to develop new solutions and the AI mission will be able to give it to you. Against target of 10,000, we have done 38,000. Secretary Krishnan was just noting the latest update of the data sets. It's actually 2,000 plus data sets available, not 350 or not 1,000, but actually 2,000 plus data sets which are now available on the AI coach. That's for you to use, that's for you to train your uh, models, that's for you to get the right inference for the problems that you work on. We have taken a very different approach in AI safety, whereas many parts of the world look at AI safety more as a legal challenge. They want to create a law, pass a law, and then think that, believe that AI safety will come. We have taken a very different approach. We have taken a techno-legal approach and our AI Safety Institute is a virtual institute which basically is a network of institutes and each of these nodes in the network have taken one problem to solve for. For example, IIT Jodhpur is solving for detecting deep fakes and the technology that they have developed, the algorithms that they have developed are today able to detect deep fakes with very high accuracy. There are many more pro challenges that the institutes have taken and I'll request the young officers who are collected here and who are connected uh, online to share the problems, safety related problems that you would like the AI mission to work on so that, that we can give that as a challenge to the AI safety institute and new technologies can be developed to make sure that AI is safe. Friends, in our entire approach, our bias in technology is more towards innovation. When there is a trade-off between regulation and innovation, we tend to tilt more towards innovation. That's very different from, let's say, Europe and many other parts of the world, where the tilt is more towards regulation, tilt is more towards passing a law, tilt is more towards creating a regulatory body, we believe that technology is something which will innovate, where people will use and we will evolve into getting the right regulatory structure rather than prescribing it through a law. And that approach has helped us so far. I hope that approach will keep helping us and especially the um, people living in far-flung areas of our country 
which need the new technological solutions for coming up, for getting to the aspirations that the people have. Thank you very much, Niti Ayog, for organizing this. Thank you for making it part of the AI Impact Summit. Wish you all the best.